So my name is Taylor Draper. I'm the CEO of Inherit and also the designer. This collection internally that was just called Envy on the Coasts, which was inspired by a really great band. I personally have felt as a creative person and just as a person that wants to bring something to the world that Colorado Springs is, it's difficult to do. Like it's the eighth worst stress city in America. So I kind of internally named this Envy on the Coasts because it kind of embodied what I wanted Colorado to be like in the summer. So I pulled inspiration from things I saw in New York, and I pulled inspiration from things I saw in LA, and I pulled inspiration from tailoring that I love in London and Italy and the casualness of the Italian tailoring. It feels like summer. It feels like so much fun, like especially we had an artist in town named Brett Andrus, who's an incredibly talented painter, paint the floral pattern that I use for the suit and things like that. So with the printed fabrics, it's like a wool poly blend, so it's actually really comfortable. It drapes like wool. There's a tiny bit of stretch to it, so it's actually really comfortable in the summer because you still like get that stretch and it's still comfortable. And the linen is a lot of the looks, the linen. Um, we did three, I came up with this thing called the slack suit, which is just a completely unstructured jacket, literally nothing in there other than the fabric and the cut. So it really just shows the, the cut and the expert tailoring that we have. And then the pants are like jogger style, but still made out of the material, like still made out of that full linen of the jacket. We also had a uh, fully white seersucker tuxedo look that we did that's a double breasted, and I absolutely love, probably one of my favorite ones that I've done. It's inspired from the south. It's, so breathable for the summer, it, but it's white and it makes you feel like so crisp and put together and yeah, it's, it is so versatile too. So the timeline didn't scare me at all because Inherent is, is always under a time crunch. We're always, we always only have like, cause opportunities come and we always just have to jump on it. It's now like the day of, and we're missing like half the collection still. It's the day that we're showing at Denver Fashion Week. And luckily uh, the CEO of our factory wanted to fly in to like see the show. So I was, you know, we were talking, I was like, dude, where are these clothes? Like, what can I, is there anything I can do? He flies in in the morning of the show. He goes straight to the DHL warehouse, which is right next to the airport. And he's like, these clothes are on the plane. I'm not leaving until you give me the clothes, basically. So DHL unloaded the plane, found this package, gave it to him, and then he came and handed it to me around like noon or something like that. And then we hadn't even done the fittings yet, obviously, because so I was just really hoping that the universe was going to come through, which it did, to make sure that all the measurements I got were accurate. Because the models didn't necessarily know their sizes. They didn't even know what suit size they were. So we pretty much had to like guess a lot of it. I called in a favor to our tailor, and she came with her sewing machines. We had to make like a few small alterations, and she just did them like right then and there. And then we got word, um, maybe like an hour before, where uh, Haley came up, she's like, hey, you guys are actually gonna headline the show, we decided. So you're not going first, you're going last. And uh, that's happening. I was like, okay, well, this better work out, great then. And the main thing that was worrying me all day was we had two looks per model. So that means the models had to go out on the runway, come back, wait for other models with their clothes to get off the runway as well, and then switch everybody's looks to restyle everything. In that back room, it was definitely stressful, crazy, models running everywhere. They're trying to make everything perfect for people and get things set up the way that they want it to be. And it was like a dream come true, especially for Taylor, for sure, I could tell. When I put on the clothes, I felt classy, a little bit of sassy, and it was just the whole vibe. So I went to the front, uh, right at the doorway, 
and like triple checked everybody and everybody's style and triple checked our notes about who, what everybody's wearing and things like that. Made some last minute adjustments on all the clothes. And then I just started sending the guys out there. And then as soon as our music starts, like the entire vibe switched in the place. Like our music was so upbeat and like energetic to represent the, you know, spring, summer and all that kind of stuff. Everybody started like dancing around in their chairs and there was a few looks where like people stood up and clapped for and it, it was like almost like an out of body experience. We ended up get, recruiting a little team uh, to get them dressed. So when they would walk out with the first look, then they would come back around and take off all their clothes and we would throw the second look on them. So each person had about two models that they had to deal with. Right there, that's when things got a little chaotic, a little stressful. Uh, getting everybody dressed in time, because you only have, I mean, you only had like 10 seconds. Uh, I was super stoked that everything went, up, went smoothly and without any kinks, and everyone came out, went out dressed with clothes on, no one went out naked, so I was happy. <laughs> you know, I'd never been a part of a fashion show and just at the end of it all you could really just feel that everybody involved with it had really become like a family at the end of the night. It was amazing. It was the highest high I think I've had 